Hello and welcome to the Safe Motion Control tutorial. My name is Andreas Rendler. I'm the product manager of the Mock module. And my name is Andreas Bauer, and I'm product manager for Encoders at SIG. And in this video, we are going to show you the integration of a safe absolute encoder AFS AFM 60S Pro into the motion control model Mach 1. And we are going to show you how to configure um, the Mach 1 with our configuration and diagnostic tool Safety Designer. To integrate our safe absolute encoder into the Mach 1, we need the following hardware. Our safe absolute encoder for safety applications up to CL3 PLE is available as solid shaft versions with face mount flange or servo flange or as through hollow shaft or blind hollow shaft versions for a safe mechanical connection. For the electrical connections, we offer different possibilities with M12, M23 connector or cable outlet with different lengths. Additionally, we need our Flexis Soft in combination with our motion control model Mach 1 and the connections between encoder and Mach. For this, we have two different possibilities. First, we have our encoder connections box or splitter box. The splitter box is beneficial if you need your encoder information for your safety automation and standard automation process as well. In the sample, you can see that the encoder signals SSI plus sine cosines are connected to the mock, but also forwarded in parallel directly to the drive or to the non-safe PLC. The second option is the direct connection cable from mock to the encoder. Now I will show you how it works. We connect the M12 connector directly to the encoder. and the micro sub D connector to the mock model. Now the hardware is done and we can go to the configuration. Andreas, can you show us how it works? Let's talk about how you should configure the safe absolute encoder AFS AFM 60S Pro inside of the mock module with the safety designer software. First of all, you have to download the safety designer from the SIG homepage. You find the zip file on this page. After you have installed the safety designer, please open it. After you have opened the safety designer, you see this screen. To shorten this video, I have prepared a configuration. I open the configuration by double click. In our case, I just have configured a FlexiSoft station with one Mach 1 and one XDIO module. We open the chapter configuration by click on it, as we have done now, and select on the right side the range elements with a click on it. You find there the chapter encoder. Please open it with a double click. You find there are different non-safe encoder chapters in blue and one chapter for safe encoders in yellow. Please open the range safety encoder by double click. Inside this range you can see two kinds of AFS, AFM 60S Pro encoders. One as SSI master and one as SSI listener. Choose the one you like to use and just connect them via double click on the encoder type or select them with the mouse and draw them to the mock. If you see the green color on the mock, just drop them down. Now you have configured the AFS AFM 60S Pro on the mock. As you can see on the mock, there are now two encoder inputs used. Let us change to a presentation to learn more about the MOC and the AFS AFM 60S Pro. The MOC recognizes the AFS AFM as two encoders. 
one SSI encoder and one sine cosine encoder. That's the reason why you have to configure the SSI and the sine cosine separately. There are some parameters from both encoder which you must configure with the same values. These are the chapters, motion settings, units and encoder splitter box. Define your values for these chapters and use them for both encoders. The values are application related. Let's go back to the safety designer. Now configure the chapter motion settings and units with your defined values. In the chapter scaling of the measurement system, choose the direct mode and fill in the number of steps per single turn revolution from your encoder. You find the number of steps per single turn revolution from your encoder in the type code of the system or in the user manual. Be aware if you have changed the resolution of the encoder via the configuration tool, you have to fill in the configured values. Let's go back to the safety designer. In our example, the resolution for the single turn information of the SSI is 262,144 increments per resolution. You have to fill in this value in this field. We change now to the chapter counting direction. Normally you have to do nothing in this chapter. A change is only needed if you like to change the counting direction of the encoder. We open the chapter SSI settings. In the area structure of the SSI protocol, you have to fill in how the SSI telegram is built up. To explain this build up, we go back to the presentation. The position data width is built up from the number of bits per single turn resolution plus the number of bits from the multi turn resolution. As you can remember, we use as example a multi turn encoder with the single turn resolution of 262,144 increments, which needs 18 bits in the SSI frame and the multi-turn resolution of 4096 increments, which needs 12 bits in the SSI frame. So the position data width is 18 bits plus 12 bits equals 30 bits. We change back to the safety designer. We fill in this value in the position data width and push enter. At the moment you can ignore the REC background. The number of bits in the entire SSI protocol frame is calculated out of the position data width and the number of error bits. The SIG AFX encoders always use three error bits. In our example the value of the number of bits is 13 bits plus three error bits equals 33 bits. We changed back in the safety designer and fill in this value. And push return. And you can see the red color disappeared. Now please check if the error bits are set in the right way. To do this we go to the end of this chapter and here you see the error bits. And you have to configure for every error bit the value 1 by clicking in the angle. The other parameters need not changed if you use the standard encoder. In the chapter Position Range, you have to define if the value of the SSI frame is a relative or absolute information. Absolute is predefined. If you have an application which works like a turntable, means after a defined quantities of increments, you start again in the start position, you have to activate the function with periodic position by clicking in this field. In the picture, you can see the meaning of the periodic position. The system starts the counting on the position offset or origin position and count the position length. 
After the periodic length is exceeded, the counting starts new on the origin position. If you need this function, you have to define the origin position and the length of the periodic movement. The length could be more than one single turn revolution. To explain one important thing, let us go back to the presentation. Please note, the periodic position length must be an integer divisor of the defined encoder range. Unluckily, this value is not shown in the configuration. You must calculate this by yourself. The defined encoder range is the product of the multi-turn resolution and the value of the revolution. You find the value of the revolution in the area scaling of the measurement system. In our case, the value is 1. The defined encoder range is 4096 multiplied by 1. So it is 4096. This table shows you the value for the possible periodical length for our example. We go back to the safety designer. We open now the chapter Teach Position. Typically, after you mount an absolute encoder on a motor or axis, you can set a position by the encoder configuration tool. This is needed to set the encoder position related to a physical hardware. The same function is realized inside of the mock. If you like, you can set the mock internal start position of the encoder range. For this, you just need to configure and to set a teach position inside of the mock and the mock will shift the values of the encoder. If you like to use this function, just enable by clicking in the field. And fill in the teach position. In our example you use 0 as start position. Now we have finished the SSI configuration and accept the changes through clicking on the OK button right below in the window. Now we have to configure the sine cosine encoder part. Please double click on the sine cosine symbol. Maybe you can remember the values of the chapters motion setting, units and encoder splitter box has to be the same in both encoder configuration. Please fill in these chapters the same values as you did in the SSI settings. If you do not do a special configuration of the encoder via the configuration tool, you don't need to change any values in the further chapters. The standard values are automatically filled in. We close the sine cosine configuration via click on the OK button. Now you know how you have to configure and integrate the safety encoder AFS AFM 60S Pro in the safety designer. If you have any additional questions, please call your local experts from SIG. Thank you for watching this video.